Nadi, where are we at right now? Tell everybody, all the kids at Kids Connection. Airplane. We're in an airplane. Where are we traveling to? The whole world. The whole world? Spread, Why? To spread the gospel. To spread the gospel? I think the moon's behind you. Yeah, there it is. Pretty cool. Outside our window, isn't it? Nadi, where did our plane land? Uh, over there. The Old West? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is there anybody here we can uh, share Jesus with? Yeah. How about yep. that dude behind you? He's not going to yeah. shoot you, is he? Who is that? Ah! Nadi, what's behind us? Shh, it's a deal. Nadi, what's going on behind us here? It's Mr. Incredible and the Incredible Family. We better share the gospel with these people. Hey, you think we can share the gospel with these fish? Nadi, do you think that uh, monsters need the gospel? Mm -hmm. There's a green one over there and a big blue one. I think you need to share with them. Nadi, do you think stormtroopers need the gospel? Uh huh, and Darth Vader and everybody else. What about the uh, space invaders? Is the gospel for them too? Uh huh, and that mon monster up there. It feels like we're in a game. <laughs> Naughty, is the gospel for people in outer space, astronauts? Yes, but I feel like I'm gonna die because I don't have any oxygen. Hey kids, Naughty and I didn't really leave the house. I don't know if I fooled you or not. But we do know that Jesus did tell us to go to all the nations and to share the gospel. It's our responsibility to share that Jesus died in our place for our sins and that he rose again three days later. And Easter's coming up, and Easter's all about the resurrection of Jesus. I hope you guys are taking advantage of this time at home by reading your Bible and praying. That is so important to, to begin to, to pray to the Lord and uh, even right now in our, in our nation's history and in, in world history, it's important to pray for this coronavirus to be gone. Uh, the only way that we can go anywhere right now is by pretending on clips like Nadia and I did uh, this morning. So I want to encourage you guys, though, to, to be devoted to Jesus while you're in your homes. I know you're, you know you're getting a lot of screen time right now. You're probably playing outside a lot. But don't neglect the Word of God, reading just a little bit a day, maybe a chapter a day in your New Testament, and pray. Well, last week I challenged our students in Kids Connection to come up with a Bible story, to act it out, and then to put a little dramatic flair in it. And I got a couple of really, really good videos. Um, but only one can be a winner. And the winner, of course, uh, I promised $20 to them that I would post their video. And uh, so the winner is um, the Franklin family. Way to go, guys. That was a great story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had been taken captive to Babylon, away from Israel, away from their homeland. And while they were there, they were lights of truth um, for God. And so you guys did a great job retelling the story. They would not bow down to false idols, but instead they worshiped the one true God. And in honor of that story, I have the fire going in the back. And, and man, it's hot. I cannot imagine those guys keeping faith. Um, even in the face of being thrown into a fiery furnace, but they did. Well, listen, I'm going to let you go, but we're going to post that video the Franklins did on our Canaan website, um, on our Facebook, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy that today. Franklins, 20 bucks is coming to you in the mail. God bless you.